everybody all my followers uh, welcome to another video this video today is on a 2010 BMW F series uh, this particular module is the F02 uh, but what I'm going to show you applies obviously to the F01 and possibly to other F series um, basically what happened was I had this car here two or three years ago to code the steering wheel the paddles to install the steering wheel and code the paddles um, I will leave the link in the description below in case if you want to have a look and at that time I took the chance owner's request as well to code a few other stuff which we did um, and now that module the car came to me because the hazard lights they stop flashing when you lock or unlock the car all the stuff that I have um, coded they stopped working uh, these uh, reading lights, they were not working as well. Anyway, long story short, I didn't record that, unfortunately. But long story short, the module was faulty. was no communications with the module whatsoever. So what I've ended up doing, because someone has been trying to repair that board, and they absolutely destroyed it. Uh, really poor soldering skills. Uh, everything was burned. Um, was absolutely absolutely destroy it uh, so I didn't waste any time with that board all I've done was I bought a second hand one uh, I got it uh, coded to the car uh, vid number recorded all that stuff once again I haven't recorded that all I'm gonna show you here now is how to code and as you've seen by the title uh, is how to, to code the acoustic uh, entry, not acoustic entry, the acoustic uh, lock and unlock signal. So basically what, what we will do is, and I'm going to show you in a second, basically what we will do is, uh, when you lock and unlock, that comes from factory, he, the hazard lights they will flash. So by coding the acoustic signal, what you'll do is, you'll hear a beep when the car locks or unlocks. And we're just going to step out and I'm going to show you. Okay, so that's why it does. But um, in case if you don't like it, there's another option that we, um, or if there's an instance where you don't want to have that working, we have also coded, I'm going to start the engine because I don't want the battery to run flow, uh, low. Um, so what we have also coded, coded, which I will show you how to do it as well. Just let the, HMI to start up and I'll show you So door locks So there is so you can activate or deactivate the same way you can Activate or deactivate the visual you can activate or deactivate the acoustic and there also there is also an option where you can actually make the acoustics to not work between I think is eight o'clock at night and eight o'clock in the morning, which I did not enable that option. But you can also the under the coding uh, you have that option as well. So the tools you need to, to do this for the F series obviously you need a net cable, which is already plugged in in there. Gonna connect this to the laptop I just want to place the camera in a place here so I don't need to be holding it all the time so we plug the cable as you can see down here we're gonna wait for the connection to be established Be right like that. Uh, 
in the meantime we'll open SC, uh, e systems and we just wait for this to load obviously it can take some time to load it can take some time to load so I've just been pausing while it's loading okay and this is your initial screen and the first thing we do is establish a connection by pressing this button here on the corner and what uh, the ECS does is going to try to read the VIN number and a few other information from the from the body control module let's say and there is so we have our uh, VIN number and we're gonna read parameters from the VCM and we'll just press connect okay it tells me the series is F02 it tells me the I step we'll just press OK and connection established press OK so the first thing we do uh, we read the vehicle order that's it uh, vehicle order has been read and the next thing you do uh, you read SVT okay and now we scroll down to FZD it was in there there is so there is FZD so the, F the FSD which is that module uh, that I've just showed you um, contains the alarm and all that stuff so what we do here we select the CAFT file uh, it's gonna be one of the two but usually it's the top one if there's only one if you want to code another module where there is only one CAFT which will be there in a second you choose the only one when you have two um, uh, you select we're gonna select this one doesn't mean it's gonna be this one but in this case is this top one so we'll just press we select that file and you press this button here which says uh, read coding data so it read the coding data we close this and now you notice that there is a new folder here you expand this folder and the data we just read it's going to be here in yellow we'll press the right button and we press edit FDL the pin the pin is something that you set when you install your uh, S's so obviously my pin number doesn't really matter because it's whatever you chose when you when you installed um, ECs. Okay, that opens uh, this here, the CAFT file. And here we go to DWA. If you are familiar with the uh, BMW Acronics, you'll know that this is the, the chronic for the alarm. We'll expand that. We go to functions. The, all this is German, but a lot of it makes kind of sense. And you have your optical. Um, signals and stuff and then you have three here for acoustics that one I'm gonna expand all three and now if I expand these as well you'll see that all of them they show active okay so we're gonna go back now so what I would do if I if this was not active I would have to change this to active press save up here and then go back and then you just select the FZD again at the top and you do code right here and that would code the the, the file again then to show that in the HMI 
that option to select or deselect we go to uh, HU sick there's only one CAFT file available as you can see we select that one once again we do read coding data that's going to read the actual data that's in the car at the moment same thing edit No, I don't want. Okay. And on on here we go to three thousand, which is HMI functions, and we're gonna look for the acoustic signal. Ah, oh, there it is. Hang on. Which is that one in there? Acoustical lock confirm. So if I expand this, you're going to see that's active already. And that's it. There's other options here, obviously, depends why you are trying to code. There's other stuff here that you can code. But uh, but yeah, that, that's how you do it. So everything is active. Obviously, I'm not gonna save nothing here. Um, but just one more thing: when you change these files and then you press code, when you press code, in my case, you're gonna see it's gonna come up with an error, and it says "please" or an information window. It will says "please activate uh, an FA first. So what we need to do first is we go onto FA, and we'll do activate FA. You wait a few couple seconds. That will say that will come up with FA active right here in green letters, and then yes, you, you can code. Uh, obviously, you can do the changes without um, activate the the FA, but to actually code the FA needs to be active. And I think that's it. That's how you do it. And that's it. Um, I know it's not nothing very special, but if, if someone is looking for this. Obviously, uh, this can be helpful, and you can have this option there on your screen for the acoustic signal for door locking and unlock. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope there's information here that uh, is useful for someone out there. If you have any comments, questions, you know, put them below. And like always, thank you for watching.